Welcome to MLCI, which is, stands for MLAO Cast Interview, where I will be asking questions to the cast. And today, this is our first interview ever. I'll be asking questions that they know, and then some questions that they're not ready for. Okay, now let's begin. Hello! You are our first interviewer, right? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is your name? My name is Lisa Yee. How old are you? I'm 14. What is your ethnicity? I am um, half Japanese and half Chinese. So what is the first video you were in? Um, I was the videographer. It was when me and Samantha Beatman started this show called like, Passion for the Asians and the introductionary um, episode, that was my first. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you usually do after school? After school, I usually do homework and I either go to piano practice with Samantha or I do karate, which is my sport. Okay, what is your hobby? My hobby is playing the piano, really. Okay. That's like my favorite hobby. Okay. Name three words that describe yourself. I'm caring. I'm nice, and my friends usually say that I'm a funny type of person. Gracias. Okay. <laughs> can you play an instrument? And if yes, then what is it? Yes, I can. As I said earlier, I play the piano. How long have we been friends for? Well, you and I met when we were in preschool, so throughout our whole life practically. Describe the relationship between you and martial arts. I've been doing martial arts for seven years and I've practically known karate my whole life. Practically, and the people they're like practically my family and I met a lot of good friends. I've been known around the dojo for a very long time. And since my brother is the high strength there, a lot of people know us, the D family. How many food races do you have? Um, I collected them, so probably about 37. 37? That's kind of exact. Okay. It's working at MLAP Productions fun. Yeah, it's really fun, you know, it's interesting seeing like the type of video technicians that you do. Who would you like me to interview next? Hmm, maybe you should interview Samantha. That's what I was thinking.